My name is Mark Busby. I am the climbing category manager for Scarpa North America. On to the fun stuff. This is the specialised performance part of the 2016 Scarpa Rock Shoe Collection. All these shoes are quite downturned in their heel to toe profile and they're also quite asymmetric in their footprint. So that's a common characteristic. But what we can see is that we've got this continuum from a more supportive front pointing type of shoe with the boost stick going through to the Furia which is a much more malleable, much softer, much more sensitive shoe. So I'll start off by talking about the boost stick. This has been in the line for a little while. It's an incredibly good front pointing shoe so if you're going up to do some sport climbing on granite and you're climbing on tiny little edges, um, if you're up at Smith Rocks, if you're on you know, real little crimpers, if you're in Rumney, a really, really supportive shoe. We've got this full length outsole that's matched with the excess edge. So it's a great front pointing shoe. And when I say front pointing, I'm, I do really mean that you climb in a slightly different style to, to how you'd climb in, in some other shoes. And once you get used to that, you can really stand on, on tiny, tiny edges. So really important shoe. This is the Booster S. For me, this is the Desert Island shoe out of the Specialized Performance line. Sure, it's a specialized shoe, but it's probably less specialized than, than some of the other parts. When you see it, you can just see how much work Heinz has done in designing it. And one of the things that's really nice about this shoe is that straight out of the box, it feels broken in. It feels very, very sensitive. It feels very, very supportive. And we see this brilliant trifold active randing underneath and that kind of that huge arch support and it's just a very very technical shoe that if you're trying hard it's, it's a perfect shoe to kind of to, to move into. So if that's your Desert Island shoe you want to keep it for, um, for the maximum amount of, of good sends so maybe you want something to train in and I mean the sticks is $30 cheaper so maybe that, that allows you to train in this and then keep this for best. However, I mean, I, I love this shoe. The profile at the front, this X-Tension Active Rand, just really grips onto your foot. And I'm sure that you could climb just as hard in this as you could in this. It's just a question of fit. And that's one of the really nice things about the Scarpa line. We've got different combinations of Active Rands, different combinations of lasts and there's really something for everyone in, in the line. So if this is a training slipper, it sits kind of that side. If we move over to the Furia, this is a super specialised, super performance shoe. It's super soft, super malleable. This incredible amount of rubber wraps around the front and it really, it really supports and sucks onto the shoe. In this shoe and all the Scarpa shoes, because the way our active brand works, you don't need to downsize too much. And in fact, if you downsize a lot, it can be really, really bad for you. What we, what we can see is if you, if you, um, if you go too small, this, this rubber can kind of bulge out and you can kind of get premature wear spots. So particularly in a shoe like this, don't, don't downsize too much. And you know, this is the route that you send that particular sandstone boulder problem in, goes back in your bag, and then you kind of you go into this guy or you go training with this guy. So that leaves this, this new one, the sexy new Drago. So this, uh, this beauty was just launched in Friedrichshafen and it's, um, it's, it's a limited release and we actually said we were going to make a thousand pairs globally and unfortunately they're all snapped up at the European show. So it's a July release in North America and it's actually uh, the first North American shoe to break the $200 price point. There's so much kind of technology and build that goes into making something like this and the Scarpa factory in, in Italy is so good at what they do. You know, you can take a shoe and you can copy a look but it's, it's kind of a, it's a difficult shoe to construct and you know, that's, that's part of the reason it comes in at that price point. When we see the, the, the way that we've had to pull this rubber up and we can, we can see that there's actually quite a bit more than the Furia. It's really, really hard to do that precisely every time. Of course, every shoe size in the range, it's really, really difficult to do. And kind of contrasting the two shoes, we can see that we dropped the, the lower Velcro strap to enable us to have that, that greater degree of, um, of rubber coverage. And that gives us that ability to kind of clamp a lot more than, than, than we've been able to in, in, in some of the other parts of the line. 
If we flip the, uh, the shoes over, we can see that both of the shoes have got that partial outsole and the PCB active randing, but the actual heel cups are different. And I'll just grab the Instinct VS and we can see that we've got the, um, the Instinct uh, heel, which as I said before, is probably one of the best heels that, that not just in our line, but in the market today. So this shoe is an absolutely aspirational shoe. It's a shoe that I think some people are just gonna absolutely have to have. I think it's a shoe that a lot of our athletes are going to go and climb in, and it's a real pinnacle piece for our line. So that's really the, the Scarpa collection.